Ideally, we all wish for open, connected relationships with everyone in our lives, family, friends, community, coworkers. But relationships often get stuck. The most common stuck patterns being triangles, which frequently form in two against one patterns, where two people manage their anxiety by triangling in a third, who often becomes the enemy, someone they can organize against. Triangles are formed when relationships between three people are intertwined such that the relationship of two determines the relationships of the third. Even though triangles are very common, we all get into them, it's worth a lot to try to get out of them because they represent a dysfunctional system that is one in which relationships are not open and direct, but rather where the relationship of two determines and is determined by the relationships with the third. Let's take the family we considered earlier with interlocking intergenerational triangles. Alyssa Barr, the middle of three children, was a 30-year-old clinical psychologist when she sought help for what she called family conflicts. Alyssa was dating Carlos, a Puerto Rican social worker she had met at work. Her parents were extremely disapproving of her choice of boyfriend, and she was frustrated by their judgmental reaction, feeling they were not giving him a chance and made him uncomfortable whenever he came to visit. Her mother especially would not stop criticizing Carlos and urging Alyssa to find someone different. She seemed obsessed with convincing Alyssa that she was making a very bad choice in relationship. Initially, Alyssa saw the major conflict as her parents' disapproval of Carlos, but as she began to explore her history and create a genogram in therapy, a clear pattern of triangles emerged. The whole family was rife with triangles.